Yo, 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 what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, yo, Bayou Satan. You already know, back at you with another one. This time, we gonna go into a plugin. Well, it's not really a plugin. It's uh, used to make plugins work. The J Bridge. Uh, if you're not familiar with it, it's to make 32 plugins working 64-bit dolls and to make 64-bit plugins making 30 working 32-bit dolls. It's a, a buy that you should definitely make because if you like me, I have a lot of vintage plugins that I love to use in my 64-bit doll that they don't make 32-bit. I mean, they don't make 64-bit versions of. And if you know me, you know that I believe that anything that's usable is never old. There's no such thing. They, yeah, they can make a better product, but once you become good at what you're good at, good at using that, it should be still good to use them. And a lot of dolls still make sure that they dolls still work to a lot of the old plugins. And that's what separate uh, a lot of the dolls, too, with that. They can handle the old codes good. So, uh, here we go. You can see right now what the problem will come in when you do the J-Bridge. If you don't select, let me show you. When you go to your J-Bridge window, if you don't select, see it say this right here, am I using a 32-bit host or is you using a 64-bit host? So I'm going to be using a 64-bit host. So you'll see right here, it'll ask you, don't add 32 or 64 in file name. This is what you want to select every time. And then you want to select this or it'll go, I don't know, on my computer it'll do this. So let me show you if I go here. It don't so no computer. This is my WhatsApp file. That's uh, my uh, documents folder, basically. So you want to make sure you select every time. Don't add 32 or 64 bit on the end of the file, and reset browser. All right, then you if right here say select the VST plugin that you want to scan. And we just gonna go to the plugin, but I'm not gonna need to scan it or nothing. So I go the program 86 is in my VST folder. So I'm gonna go to the VST folder. And it's in VST plugins. Check it audio. Geno balls right here. TA Geno balls right here. And this is the plugin. So I will select this. Then it will ask you, what is your destination folder? Then it will just send it to the folder. But we're going to close this because we don't need to do this because I've already done it. And then I'm going to show you the difference of how they look. This is how it will look. The one that I'm using now, it looked like this. It see, it says 64 on the name, whatever, whatever. But this is the one we're going to use now. All right, I'm going to tell you why. This we want it. We want the name. Well, this is not the one we're going to use. This the one. Hold on, let me go. It's the one we're going to use. So you see, this is a 64-bit one. It's in my 64-bit folder, but it don't have 64 on it. Now, even if you accidentally done this, you don't want to go back because you might have done all your plugins. It's easy to scan them over, but you might just done one plugin. You want to just fix that one plugin. You can just go rename it right here. Just go delete the 64 in the period and delete it from the title right here too. Just the 64. Delete the 64 from the title on the text and delete 64 in the period right here. And what reason why you're doing this is because if you don't, what will happen is this. See, I have this open in my 32-bit traction, right? And so you see it's saying, error, this plugin couldn't be loaded because this one say 64 on it. So when you want to change from DAW to DAW and you want it to work, you got to take the 64 off or it won't notice that that's the plugin whenever you're using the J-Bridge. Most plugins that's made already that just say 64 and 32, I found some that don't still recognize that this from the plugin. You can go rename any plugin if you want. You can call plugins whatever you want. You can rename that. The name don't change how it works. So 
that's just something to note if you don't know. So, because I got a lot of versions of the, let me show you what I mean. So, we got, uh, see, you can see this IEQ Pro, it didn't have 3.10 written on it, and I put that on myself. That's a version that I, I, I really like. And so, when the updates come, because the ones before that, you had glitches and stuff, so I wrote that on it. And, and sometimes, I had it named the LED IEQ Pro for the next version. So you can name plugins, rename them, whatever you want. Just make sure you do the same name in your 32-bit folder that you do for your 64-bit folder. So, like I say again, your project won't load it if you leave the 64 on it. And I'm going to give you a demonstration of this. So it's going to go to silence for a second. I'm going to uh, leave this up so you can see. That this one is going to load up in the edit in the 32-bit version. Let me show you so you can see that I'm in the 64-bit version. Oh, I can't move the screen over. It's all, once it came up, it came on my other screen, the About section. So I can't even show it to you, but I promise you, this is the 64-bit version right here. I mean, you already know. You can see this plugin says 64. So we go ahead and close it, and then I'm going to go and open the 32-bit version. All right, here we go. So, see, that's crazy. It pick it up when you go back 32. 32, it pick it up. You see that? Right, it picked it up. But it wasn't picking it up in 64. So that's something I just learned. Going backwards, it pick it up. For some reason, it, it cut the words off, and it don't even say 64 on the end right there. Just know that that's another version of one of them. For some reason, but once you go in the, let's go back into the 64-bit version and see. Oh, see? Oh, but it came up this time. So that's showing you that sometimes it'll work and sometimes it won't. You just saw that it was saying, er, the plugin wasn't working. So to get rid of having that happen to you or any of that, we're going to go ahead and just make sure we don't have that er, that er ever pop up again. So you see now you know that it's an er that will come up sometimes and sometimes it won't. So... What we gonna do? We gonna get rid of that problem because I know I seen the problem, and now I'm saying that it'll show up sometimes, and sometimes it won't. That's even worse. So what we gonna do? We gonna get rid of this one, remove it from the plugin list, so we won't even worry about this. And then we gonna put this one in. All right, now so we gonna add it to my tags. Oh. oh, I mean, delete that one that I just deleted. Let's now put the Jbridge one in. I ended up putting the Jbridge one in the my 32-bit version. I don't need the Jbridge one in my 32-bit version. They put the real version back. That's the other thing too. When you put these plugins in, for like you can't just drop it anywhere. You got to put it over here for some reason.
He sure ain't true. And I'm just leaving. Which one is the more? Let me see. Well, now I'm seeing the 64 bit version, so I was adding the right one. Sure. Stop doing drugs, man. You do drugs. Kids don't do drugs. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm going to add it back in. Alright, there we go. So now, you see it don't say 64 on it. So we ain't got the 64 bit one no more. Ain't no eyes still showing it right there. Alright, so you can see now I don't have no 64 written in the end. And then we're not going to have it sometimes when you open the edit. It's not going to show up. It's going to show up every time. So I hope you people get what I'm saying. And you just seen that I had the edit open. And it was showing that it was an error. But I realized that the error is because the 64 bit. And when it says 64 on the end, then I open the edit again. And it worked. But that showed me that that's a bug. So to fix it all you do is rename your plugin if you already done the plugin if you haven't scanned it make sure you select don't put 32 or 64 on the end of the file it's your boy obey who said what's up records give me your another tutorial video peace